Boom. Bonjour, hi, welcome to the stream. I'm Frank Boucher, your host, and for the next two hours and a half... I don't know why I, spe I always specify that. <laughs> we'll have some fun for a little while together. And today we're coding blazer.net. It's Wednesday, Wednesday it's .net. I was planning to do something else, but... Um, not sure it will be the best experience. I prefer just wait maybe next week. But in this week I thought um, it was about time to play in the Tiny Blazor admin website. That's an interface, a website we built to display our short URL shortener stuff. And I think it's about time we add the statistic the statistic the statistic the statistic for clicks, how many clicks, when people clicks and stuff like that because I'm sure we all want to know did my last blog post work well? So I think it would be cool. Oh. Oh. This is David. Well, feel free to share it. Uh, I won't participate because, you know, I speak French and barely English. But, um, yeah. Share it. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. No problem. Or if you don't want to share it, I'm also fine with it. I like no obligation from your part. <laughs> I can translate. I could be in your team and like you translate everything. That's what you mean? No, it's the, it's the uh, birthday of my wife this weekend. So um, <clears throat> I think I'm busy. <laughs> can I, can I zoom that? Every time I forgot. It's big enough. Is it big enough? Well, you don't see it anyway, right? Boom. So let's go here. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. I need to. Uh... What? Or maybe I will put it back a little bit smaller. Because in this view. I'm not showing much. I need to redo my full design also. I feel like um, it's out outdated. Like it's so 2019. I need something like all in fire and like apocalyptic looks for 2020. Before 2020, you know, ends. What do you think, chat? Thanks, this is David. Let's have a look, okay? I think it's cool. I, I like the... Uh, I'm not sure we'll all... So I, I cannot even... Read it. Can I? Usually I have a pop-up to translate. Oh, that's cool. Um, oops. I lost you. Guys, where are you? You're there. <laughs> I would wait for 2020. You know, it's easy. You just put a bunch of stuff that don't fit together, that are like all broken, and then you got it, right? Um, oh, there's a few things I want to change because it's not been a while. I, I feel like I've been streaming for a long time, but it's not been a long time since I started streaming. Um, and I just feel like, you know, it could be better, like here, like the new follower stuff uh, the chat when I'm in this position like I'm hiding them so I should probably go with this view then so I'm not hiding anymore the the chat I don't know I would like to have uh, at the top right corner like the logo for the live quarter I would have I would like to have it display better I think I'm proud of, or maybe it's it's enough if it's in my like. I need I need to design something, and I want to play with the um, effect when I'm switching scenes. Right now, it's just kind of. But I would like something cloud related and stuff. Like I, not abandoned, but you know, very. 
push forward the idea of having cloud stuff. I have no time to do that. Even if I would like to, like I would like to have um, cloud and having you playing with the clouds or having the clouds in my screen. That would be cool, but uh, I quickly looked the other day and I have no idea, but like no idea how to do this. Okay, so I'm thinking about starting a regular stream for when I'm making music. Oh, that could be cool. If you need any help to test or set up stuff, ping me, Michael. I will be super happy to uh, help you. Whoop. I will mute my phone. Sorry about that. Should I have done it? That's cool. I start watching more listening, but um, a few music stuff. Sometimes when I'm doing something else, um, it's easier to uh, lurk those kind of content than coding. Coding, I do that when I know the streamer, but like so quickly, I phase out. Like I'm not, like it's just become not noise, but yeah, kind of noise, like background noise. And um, I feel guilty because, you know, like let's say I will triple B, you know, because I, I like to, uh, <laughs> no, it's not true. No, yesterday I was I was having a Michael Jolly on the side and I was doing my stuff and at some point I was like, I have no clue what he's doing because I was focused on my stuff. No, I'm, maybe it's because it's in English and it's not my first language. Um, I don't know. I don't know how you can do that, guys, when you're watching the stream. Like, I know some people, like, most of, of the people, like, will put that on the side. I'm assuming. Like, I'm happy if you look, watch me very actively two hours long, but that's a lot of watch time. I don't deserve that, I think. Anyway, I may had Cool, yeah. I'll make sure I follow you. There it is. Boom. Okay, so I want to work on this guy today. This application, not this guy, this application. And uh, I think I think it's in the VNX branch. I'm not sure there's a big difference between the two. Uh, we have the new uh, Sync Fusion interface. So I think we could do some charts. That could be cool, right? Yeah, cool, do that. Um, this is, what? Cool. So yeah, so that's the plan. Adding some uh, some stuff. So in my Git Kraken board, what's a notification? Oh, that's cool. Mark has read. I I read all that, but uh, I received also email, so I was cleaning my email. You know, once a week, I do the tour, all repo, do the tour, all YouTube, and answer a question or stack them because sometimes like the question required a lot of research. So I, I like it's not a 30 second thing. Time consuming, but I think it's important. Okay, so let's go full screen. Um, I'm trying a new playlist, by the way, today. Let me know if you like it. It's uh, Syncware, Sync, how do you pronounce that? Syncware, Syncwave. A little bit more, uh, I don't know. 
I like lo-fi too, but uh, I think today it, this thing was uh, was more reflecting my mood. I feel like I'm, like I said, I'm moving very fast and thing, but I feel like I'm sidetracked. Like I'm, I'm not on the track. I'm just like, yeah. Um, have a better grid admin blazer website. I think we did start that. And uh, feature requests, show URL blazer, show archive URL. Oh, that could be cool too, but no, I want a stats today. So let's see. So I have a better grid. I think we did put that. So that's the thing we need to check. Feature requests, show, nah, nah, add the content validation. I thought we add, uh, add the statistics. There's some bugs also. Oh, by the way, um, the project now, oh, it's not. I thought it did change that. Well, let's do that. So it is Azure, it is .NET, it is .NET Core, in fact. Uh, it is a uh, blazer blazer web assembly oh that net was it that that net okay so I think maybe this is better than that I don't know and it is October fest approved Error saving or change repository topic must start with a lowercase or a number. Ah, oh, that's why I was not saved. Separate by space. Azure, definitely. Then it's .NET Core and then it's a Blazor WebAssembly and it is what should I? Arm template? No. Oh, October fast. Ah, now it works. Oh yeah, it's true. I reboot this morning. Though I, I, sometimes it does that. Like my PC when I get back, I feel like when it's updating. Like it boots, but I cannot log in. It looks like uh, because my keyboard maybe is plugged not like in a USB hub instead of the port for the uh, where you put usually your mouse and keyboard, I feel like it doesn't recognize it or something. I don't know. It's strange. That or I've been hacked. <laughs> Hopefully not. Cool. So now, part October fest. So tiny blazer admin and AZ URL shortener are valid valid project for October fest. Did you know about October fest? Should I talk about it? Did you know what it is? What it is or what it's not? Oh, there's a good article I think on DevTo. Yeah, if you go DevTO. Oh, you know what? What I did forgot. Start the stream. Start. Start. And it's tiny blazer admin. Damn it. Uh so yeah, so it's a great project. Let me share that in the in the chat. Oh, should totally do a note for that.
Uh, yeah, it's a hackathon, not a hackathon. It's just like kind of a celebration of the open source things. And I, oh, I should definitely like that. Uh, and you can win a t-shirt. So I did it for two years, got two t-shirts. I love them. I think it's really useful. And uh, if you look at my, my profile, uh, you know, like 2020 is not bad, right? 2019, it's not bad either. I was traveling a lot here. And you know, like it's not been for a while since I'm uh, very active in the open source. So if you're just getting started, I think it's a great opportunity because there's a lot of people, everybody is uh, aware of new part, new people jumping in. Um, because, you know, I would love all of you to uh, participate in my project, but sometimes maybe, you know, it's not perfectly aligned with the, your skills and stuff like that. So there's tons of uh, open source project that you can participate and from there have the chance to win uh, a t-shirt and I think it's just for if I'm not mistaken it's for uh, PRs so it's pretty cool is it about open source it's about why you know isn't it the, the same thing Michael like open source mean that you can contribute it's not whatever that's my my interpretation but you're right it's to help people uh, how do you say that in uh, encouraging people to contribute yes it's true um, my, like, you know what just between us uh, the plan of today I was about uh, to update some uh, Microsoft documentation with you to show you how you could contribute but because I'm sure it all happens to you when you're trying to do something you go on a web page and it's not quite up to date uh, so you spend way more time than you would like to do your project but then you know the answer you know what should be changed so I was like hey you know what maybe we could update the page and you know then people have a reference to how to do it um, but the experience for a Microsoft employee is very different right now from someone from like, who's not a Microsoft employee so I want to make sure I'm providing the best practices for everyone like not Microsoft people uh, so that's why I didn't do it today and I'm planning to do instead the, uh, the UI stuff <laughs> it's kind of like a AD Athens case stuff. What? My content? It's not like it's Azure. Anything like all if you look my project, it's all it's always about something Azure. It's some tools. I have 74 70 67 project and I cleaned them the other day. I delete so many. I need to pass again and delete a bunch of stuff. And there's project I need to. Uh, I think someday I need to spend time. Maybe I, I should do that on stream and like clean up and update and do. There's so much stuff. Anyway, enough babbling. Babbling. I'm not the uh, rambling, rambling, rambling the uh, rambling dev instead of rambling geek. Okay, so um. Yeah, I want to create, give feedback, feature requests, configurable minimum land, uh, only call, uh, expiry date, um, oh yeah, but I'm not in the, the good project, haha, <laughs> oh yeah, it is, but it's not, oh, that's why probably that's why the card is still there okay let's go open this one yeah sync fusion data grid is in progress okay um, and 
Let's add, let's add a card here. Should just take this adding click statistics. Definitely an enhancement, and um, it is front end. Cool. So let's have a look. Let's open the project. I think if I do that, that will be the. Um, that's the root, right? Yeah, that's not what I want. I want the source. This is the full readme, and if I want to be able to run it and everything, I need to go in this. Oh, maybe I should do it in uh, the big Visual Studio. Let's do that. Then I should close the little one, right? It's been forever since I opened that. I updated recently, but uh, I didn't play much with it. I should change the fountain. I feel like it's super tiny. Size 12 though, it's it's good enough. Okay. So let's just run it as it is. I'm not sure I'm in the good branch over. UI test. Oh, so I didn't even push it. Interesting. Maybe I delete the... Oh no, cool, it's there. Excellent. So yeah, we can totally use that thing, right? Archive look a little bit squish, but... Uh... I think everything was working. Is it true? Not sure anymore. It did. Okay, that working, <laughs> but didn't refresh here. Okay, so we need to refresh that grid in the bottom. That's not a problem. Okay, that worked too. 
Excellent. So why? Like if I not I cannot filter, I would like to remove that. Right? Those things should should not be there since we cannot use them. Okay, so that's cool. We could we could change that. We need to refresh it though. And I should put a key but uh Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Am I I'm pricing any key. Um, okay, okay, okay. Solution Explorer. really tiny I like So it did pop up. Um, maybe it's binding, bind. Buying data source. Try again. Is it big enough? There's an error. Oh yeah. I feel like everything else is small. Doesn't change anything. I don't know how to make it bigger. Okay, let's try that. A five. And it's not working. Is 
It cannot convert the blah 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 event callback. Okay, so I'm probably doing this thing wrong. So let's check the documentation. Um, Let's open this in another page here um, and let's Or maybe I'm in the wrong account. You know what? I will have a look later. Uh, we'll continue to work with the warning, but uh, I have an account for us. Okay, data binding. That's perfect. That's what I want. So small. Ah, uh, oh, I think I know. I put back my resolution at uh, 4K. I was doing a lot of uh, recording, so I was getting used to having like that screen in uh, HD, so much bigger. So, am I like? It is the sync fusion stuff, right? Yeah, sync fusion. So sync fusion grid data source is working, but the bind data source. Data source that's that's we know. not what I ask for. JavaScript. I don't want JavaScript. I want the blazer. Where are you blazer? Blazer. And I want the chart. Not the chart, the grid. Data grid. Voila. And I want the data binding. There it is. So data source. So when using data source as a, uh, the type it will be different. When using data manager, the data binding will be using this. 
to bind a data grid, you can enumerate the data source property. feel like I'm, I'm listening the uh, soundtrack of uh, Stranger, Stranger Things. Did you watch that uh, show, Cloudies? Stranger Things? If yes, did you like it or not? I liked it. I really liked it. You don't think so? Do you, if do you have Netflix? What? Okay. It is really good. Bonjour. Hi. Hey, Cold War Ch Stranger Things, also known as my family home video. <laughs> well, Google, like, you know, search online. I don't want to play it because otherwise I won't be able to push, like, I will have claims. But it is pretty cool. There's four seasons. Season one was incredible. I really enjoy all the other season two. Uh, but season one was pretty cool. Like, it's few kids uh, when they were younger uh, you know like it, it's, it's few kids that played Dungeon and Dragon like they and like everything that happened at that game on the, like the five first minute that's that's the season <laughs> and I just felt like it was me back in the day except that I didn't fight real monsters yes stranger things like do it do it it's really good But that's button, I want the grid. Oh, SQL Data Manager. No, I don't need that. Do I need that? When I'm using an API? Or maybe that's why. Custom binding. Maybe I need the uh, data manager. But it's funny how nowhere like this is mentioned. Right? I feel like my desk is too hard. Oh no. Uh, yeah, it's not even there.
Oh, okay, I think I know why. So when in the code... So save... I'm doing that. But I need to do this also. So I should totally do that. Like I'm doing this thing like multiple places, right? There and there and there and there and there. Now we'll need to have those two. What's happening, my phone? I will have a look later, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like uh, this part. Uh, no, this part. Oh, you know what? I like in. Uh... See, it's there a bunch of time. Bunch of time, like boom, 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 boom. So I think I will just do uh, update the URL list. And have the two function together, I think. Let's do that. Let's do a private. Private async task. And it will be. Bonjour. Hi. Triple B, how are you? Welcome aboard, welcome aboard. I was just talking about you earlier today. But you are not there, so you won't know what we were saying about you. Sorry about that. <laughs> what an asshole, oops. I beat myself. I was just explaining, giving you as an example that I'm really bad at lurking. When I put a, a, a <laughs> when I put the stream on the side and start working, very quickly I felt like if I'm not watching or something like that, I felt just like I got lost. I have no clue what happened in the stream and stuff. And yesterday it happens to me where I was following your. I think I, your stream was open for at least an hour, but at some point I was like, "Wow, what are you doing?" <laughs> I <laughs> have no clue. Uh, probably... No! No, see, I missed that thing. Oh yeah, I was, I was there. Uh, that, that part I was there. Like, I was chatting, right? So people, if you want to have fun about Michael Jolie, you could go at, you know blog.allaroundazure.com and see that cutie face that was nice huh I pick one I pick a good one Michael so you could watch this episode because you know how many things can you put together before <laughs> how, how many new things that you never try can you put together before you're in trouble Learn how many in this video. <laughs> Mistake were made. I think, you know what, why I still like and I still publish that video and I think, I think you embrace that very well on your channel. I think I do the same on my channel and I think it's not that easy. Um, that's how you learn, by hitting the wall and say, oh, that's not the door. And like you're just trying to find the door or find whatever and, you know, pass through that wall. And I think we did it in that stream and we didn't find a solution. And I think it's totally fine. I officially invite you to come back. Uh, talk, like, fix that thing or work on something else. I have no problem with that. But uh, definitely, like, yes. So anyway, I think it was a good show. I think it was a good show. Clip it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you land! This is cool. See? Your name is there. I should... The CB should go down though with that. Oh, did I just close the page I wanted to? Documentation, learning, support, demo, plug, documentation. Blazer. Cool. And Lennon Frank. <laughs> I want you back in my life, Michael. Come on, it was a great show. Not the most successful of the you know all around azure but that's not the point the point of the show is to help people getting on board so oh see you later uh sorry i missed the message and surely that is not there yet <laughs> and i still i already miss messages in the in the chat so i should do a time and say um, okay so now uh, yeah update um, how do we call that UI list although Yeah, let's do that for now. And this and this is the same. Oh no, it did, it did. Okay, so it's the it's this command. It's those two commands. That I want. So now I could just say await this. Okay, so let's see how many things did I broke. Break, broke, break. There's build error. Oh yeah, I didn't put back the regular binding stuff. Oh yeah, that I grid I think it means to have this. What error again? Cannot convert. Oh, what did I do? Let's do a uh, clean. I'm so not used anymore to be in uh, Visual Studio.
Is it clean? Yeah, it's clean. Should take like split second. So rebuild. Cannot convert the Microsoft ASP.NET Core component event callback system collection to Microsoft. In UL Manager, what did we change? We changed nothing, and it was working before. because I didn't save please is it the problem control s what? This is how it was. Data source equal. That's how it is. Oh, that's not how it is. That's how it should be. Now it's saved. Now it should work. Oh, maybe I did the uh, control Z something. I don't know. That's strange. I like your uh, color in the chat today, Mr. Bald Beard Builder. So now if I do a edit and I put tiny test 2, it didn't refresh. I want to keep that page, I will just put it completely at the left.
Oh, I need to do the state as change. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly uh, what I was thinking, Michael. Remember? I've, I've been like I work in like I design point of sale for like big stores and stuff like that. I meant a lot of UI back in the day and uh, I was working with different uh, grid. I forgot the name of those grid. Flex grid? I forgot what, what name it was. Um, but the good. But uh, yeah, so here we did earlier the update UI list. And we'll put this. Whoops. Should build. Of course it will build. It's not of six. I want if it's exp it's paid. But I'm building the the grid instead of working on the, the chart. Okay, so I did. Uh, maybe I need to do this at the beginning I don't know no no here it was done after Maybe because it's paged? How do you call the refresh thing? This maybe? That's not, I want the grid. That's my data, where is it? Like my grid, Did I, I didn't give it a name. Or an ID. data
Oh, there it is. Oh, that's cool. It's the new thing, like the filter stuff. Add, count, clear, add range for each. That's really cool. Append, any. But it's so tiny. And I don't see refresh. I think that's what I did. Or maybe I didn't. Um, so I haven't looked in Blazor. Maybe it's a stupid question, but we do need do we need to assign a function call on on event parameter for the grid, if that makes sense. Maybe uh, like I'm using button. But maybe we need some kind of stuff. Right here, it was like button update. And then unlicialize, add records. Del record update records. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the observer. Obs observer observe. Property change event. Mm -hmm. Implement the notification of another property. The observable collection, yeah, so we'll need to do that. the thing observable collection Was it something they create?
why it's not suggesting me to add the uh, namespace observable then not oh. yeah I would like So now this Okay, but it, then it create that I will need to create that thing okay so you know what for now since we're just exploring I will keep the uh, previous version right and let's put this in the note Laser book. Definitely need a book. So I think that's pretty cool. But now I would like to explore because I want to have some ideas about the what we could do for the visualization. Let's have a look to the data we have. Uh, there's two type of data. I think one could be cool as a kind of a timeline. I thought we had something in there. Didn't? URL manager, we definitely didn't. And in the Frank, this one, I'm not even sure which storage I'm targeting in here. Uh, let me just open that and I'm not sure I pushed that thing so we'll just have a look. In my app settings, tiny admin hm. Let's open the portal. HM blah 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 that's the one we're targeting uh, let's close this window and uh, now if I go in the configuration let's again open that on the side uh, Azure data storage it's loading
HMX. Whoops, not disk. And HMXY. H M X Y uh, apparently are oh, still loading. Microsoft one is not up to date. Slow on. I just want to see the stuff. It why it's so painful this morning. Come on. The portal is faster. I want to see the tables. Okay, see, I don't care about all those mm -hmm. things. There it is. So I don't want this and here. Like it didn't look for it. There it is. After a million hours of searching, I have it. So open the table, please. Open, open, open it. I don't understand though why it's so slow. Wow, huh? So we go into tables and we have the click stats and the URL details so URL details we already had that in the first one so I think it's the clicks that we want to display and for that we have the key and the date time Partition key and the date time. So 
So we'll need to run some kind of fancy query to extract that data. So we'll need a new Azure function. And we don't have that right now. Do we? Oh, I think we did. We do. I think we did create the um, the stat thing, but we are not using it yet. Right? If I open the solution, if I go in uh, the URL shortener service. That's not used anymore. <laughs> it's been so long. Get URL list. Get create update. This this. Huh. Let's uh, open the AZ URL shortener source because I'm pretty sure we did create stuff over there if we go in the oh, I was already in the shortener tools we have click stat yeah we have the click stat I'm looking for a vanity. Okay. So we could just add a new function here, call it, and see, uh, start having fun. Though the result may not be something we're used to, right? Uh, yeah, it's a clicks, click stat entity. If we go in the main, it's a new class. It's a new class. It's a new class. So we need that class too on, on our side. And this side, we need a new class. I should have created a. Um, like blazer library thing that I think okay so let's create a class like this uh, here uh, what is it again control alt C control alt oh, I forgot that was not what I was looking for mm -hmm. how do you add a class it's been so long I want to add something new Add class control alt C. So yeah, I was not I was close. Nope. Shift alt C. Ah, we got it. okay. So click stat entity. Cool. So now we have this, uh, and if we look 
at here. And where's the property? All public. The constructor. Nothing fancy. And the uh, this domain. Cool. So have a, I need those. I need to create the property. So daytime row key partition partition key. Are they there? In the uh, yeah, partition key row key. I did create those. Okay. Right. And now So let's control S this in the service that's not used anymore. Why do I have all that code? Oh, just in case I still need reference of it, but it's working. I don't think I need that anymore. Should clean stuff. Uh, I don't need this page. Don't need this page. I thought I just closed it. Why that page still? Because of the breakpoint? Or because I'm on it? Okay, that's funny. Uh, okay, this. The Rager page. Why I like call the page are opening twice? I really don't understand that. So what I want is the secure service. Voila. Get URL list. It's just calling that um, create update archive. So I will need to create a new public async task that will return. A list. Yeah, we'll need to create a list of those things. It's true. Let's put the uh, click stat entity for now, just so I know what I'm talking about. And it will be something like get click statistic. Get click stat. Now I need to create a list, right? That thing here was it Retur returning a list. Returning a list, but does the oh yeah. So I need to create the list too. Let's go here again and let's do a no. There it is. 
click stat entity list. What I don't have here, yeah, URL list real entity. this thing instead in my class here that I'm building so I need my cancellation token thing and now I just need something very simple right so result Client get JSON and I'm going about this thing and it's it's this. I don't need the cancellation token in that one oh, because I'm not passing it I need to pass it oh, because it's a get of course okay so now I have it, uh, but I need to pass. Oh, like so? No, so it, like it's a get, but I need to. Uh... Hey, Shirley Dev in the house. Welcome aboard. you create Yay! Um, so we need to Yay! pass the um, the vanity Let's look, look again at the code, so it's a post. So I need my uh, my thing that I just removed. <laughs> okay. So let's update this. Let's control Z a couple of time. Voila, and it's a post. my object and it won't be the um, requests I don't know what stupid pool hey Max hello buddy it's been forever since I see you in every platform except Twitter I still like your uh, Yoda joke HDMI Love it. Pretty cool. Um, I'm a beetle. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Sometimes I feel like I'm 
typing something and like what's the um, who the hell scares on the uh, Clark Hill stream because uh, and then I deleted even like Instagram I publish a little bit more and I was like, oh, people must be tired of seeing this kind of, th of stuff so I was just like um, yeah so archive your L so now like the only thing I need is uh, vanity right so it's a kind of a new object could I just do something like new and then like what oh I'm in French keyboard okay and then say vanity do I need to put it like this I forgot oh, it's vanity equal can I do that My tweet this morning is about being killed by Otokore. <laughs> that almost happened. I was too many singing away from having extra. <laughs> Pose as Jason Async. Pose as Jason Async. I'm waiting. F okay, so it doesn't like that. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hey, boy. Okay, I need to change everything. So this will put in response, of course. Right, voila. And now this, I need to remove the type. There it is. And... What I'm expecting, yeah, stat list, voila, and this I don't need. Hey, voila, now it's working. So I'm assuming here I can just create on, on the fly a new object, pass it, vanity, and that's what I'm expecting here. And I should receive the statistics. Statistic, statistic. There's too many, too many S's in my stuff. Oh. I may receive uh, uh, some stuff today, I'm happy. Like I receive a, a dock for my laptop, but I cannot use it with my Surface laptop because of the connector so I bought like a specific Surface laptop connector to USB-C and then I will be able to use my dock. <laughs> so I was like super excited, like, yeah, I have the dock, I cannot use it. So now I order stuff and need to wait again. Okay, so now this thing I need to call it, but I need to call it from the secure client. I think easy from client here. right and here instead it's it will be uh, voila and it will be called Let's close this, I don't need it anymore. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, you should use the uh, cheat, cheat, cheat line if you really want to fall into the, the pool. Um, it was John Galloway who was uh, sharing that. It's the classic one. Up, down, up, up, down, right, left, A, B, something like that. doesn't work anyway, Max. Don't be fooled. It doesn't work. But, you know, John liked that. <laughs> oh, uh, Max, you never saw that. So you could try to say um, exclamation point attention and then type a message after. And hopefully, I know uh, Michael Jolie was there on the chat earlier, so hopefully didn't break it. <clears throat> it's working! I need to realign the stuff, but uh, <laughs> okay, now you will. Uh, should put a a, uh, a cooldown on that. Maximum, you try the attention. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it doesn't update. That's interesting. That's interesting. The image did not update. Hmm, I, 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 I fixed that. Yay! That's really strange. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. See, even me I miss okay so now I have that uh, I need to create a new page though right because right now we don't have anything so uh, let's go into the uh, nav menu and let's add a new page let's add some um, Stats, statistics, stat, statistics. Distracting yeah. French, mission accomplished. Come on. It's not a big it's not a big achievement, buddy. <laughs> uh, add a new eraser component? No. Just just a, a new page. A new page. Blazer page. It's not blazer component though. Oh, well, like apparently it is. Q 
cool. So now we need we need to find something to. Uh, I was thinking something like timeline, maybe. Or maybe just a bar chart, something like that. Filter, can I do something like this? Oh, chart. Chart dimension, bar chart. Bar chart could be cool. Right? that we need to put this thing value type category but I wanted bars yeah but I want the other way around Compare value across category by using the horizontal bars. To render a bar series, use type as bars. Okay, then you see them. <coughs> Tension dropping in 3, 2, 1. So that it's not bars. Yay! Yay! Whoa. Because you're special, Max. Okay. So we'll need to build our source. And I'm really not sure we'll have everything we need. So let's go back into the bar. Simple bar chart. Getting started. No. Chart rendering, working with data. X value. Okay, so I will need to build that thing. Ooh, that's interesting. I need to build the chart data. Let's just like it's not optimized, okay? We're playing with it. So let's build a class here chart data with x value and y value. How 
I think I will need to change. So this is a date time. I think I will need to put something like a string. I just want a date. Though I could just remove and put date. Does, does this type exist? No. Or just missing. Maybe I will put a string. No problem, mister. See you soon. Okay, so now what we need to do is... We need to create our, our source. So let's save this. In our, we don't need that page. We don't need that thing. Here, what we did, we just did this. Yay! And it was in the Ankaram. What? Maxim said, I missed the. Drop, drop. Attention, Max, would you like your frost? Oh. Thank you. And I'm back on this side. Huh. And I'm back. And I'm back. Thank you. Thank you. The cloud was still moving. It was just me. My webcam does that sometimes. Like I'm using the. Um, Elgato stream link and sometimes I don't know why it just like froze <laughs> Thank goodness it's still working um, So yeah, so here what we did is just call the client so we need to create a client So oh, you know what let's let's update UI list. Let's close this page and let's go in statistics. Here we need a new function called update UI list. We need a client, right? So here the client was created at the top with the inject of the client. I need the authorize. I need all that I should put the the page also I don't have the data stuff. Not yet. There it is. So that should fix this. Excellent. So now we need to get the click stats. Yay. We need a class for this. 
So here our class was creating created just here. I think mm. we have a list. Yeah, it's this. So just here, do something like private, and then this is of the type clicks that lists. Voila, boom. And I need to pass a vanity. Oh yeah, right now I don't have any details. Oh, interesting. Oh wait, um, how should I pass the... Um, I think what could be cool is if we have a button. Uh, let's just hard code it for now. So let's do with the uh, AZ URL shortener. That would be our, uh, our string for now. Right? And grid data, of course, doesn't exist, but chart data but we need a list of that right yes uh, so here we'll create a private um, Click history is this, so here should be click data. And of course I need to change that. So, I cannot just do this. I need to make some magic here. for each it's been forever for each uh, var click in No, not URL list. <laughs> Did I call it? <laughs> That's bad. Stat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, GT. Hello. Bonjour. Hi. I was uh, watching the other day because I found some, I was searching for some sticker and I have more information. Uh, and I realized you were the winner of the uh, license for Get Kraken. Are you uh, using it or not much?
They have a nice also, if you have a question, they have a nice um, Slack chat also, where you can ask questions and stuff like that. Okay, so here now, okay, so now it's this, so let's change that here for stat list. So for it for each clicks stats, stat, stat, and stat list. Click stat, click stat, click info. For each stat and blah blah blah. We need to do this. Oh no, it's not for each. Oh, how can I do that? Let's let's put in common this. Can I do this? Cool. And I think what I want is Click history here is equal to to this. Just curious to see. I need to yeah I have no choice okay so yeah I will do a simple one by one no grouping so for all of that we need to do um, click history dot dot comma dot add and we'll do a new click data and we'll say that the x value equal that's the date time it will be stat dot uh, it's the date time so date time and uh, y you equal and I need the partition key right partition key equal, equal stat dot partition key and then I close this According to uh, Boo, I have a feature request. Cool in the RSR. Excellent. According to uh, you, do want to open an issue in GitHub? What? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, of course I want that. Uh, well, have a look. You wanna have a look? Uh, so, according to Bo, you wanna have a look right now? I can do that. You know what? Let's do that. Oh. Still typing the request. 
Okay, so, um... That's a string. <clears throat> you use time instead of to. No, I was not a to do. I was a time. I thought I thought was switching. So in the timeline, I was looking for changing stuff, but I didn't go. So, um, I don't have to do yet. Do I? No, I don't. Did we create that? <laughs> My god. I think we did, right? I think we did. And I should have had to do. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, they are empty. To do, add. Um, stat, uh, add stat chart. I completely forgot that. Damn it. It's just to do. <laughs> yeah, no. To do bash add. Wow, we have now a to do. <laughs> to do start one. And it's very tiny and it's hiding the previous. And I lost a bunch of stuff at the top. Where is all my stuff? That thing is not supposed to be. Why well, it's like that? See, that's why I need to, uh, there's an issue at line, what? Okay. Okay, so now it's moving. there for him. okay uh, so yeah so now I need to do um, uh, 
date time dot no date I think it's date time right dot parse Right, add, 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 add. So here the data source is the click history. Let's just run it to see. To see how bad it is. Oh, and then we have like just a few. Oh no, doesn't compile. What was the error? I need to change that. Like it's so tiny. Component statistics start with a lowercase character component name start. What? The component statistics start with a lowercase character. Component name cannot start with a lowercase character. Well, okay. There it is. Uppercase. How bad it is, how bad it is. Oh, we have the little mini. So let's go here and <clears throat> Let's put a breakpoint here. I'm assuming the problem is. Can I put a breakpoint? Okay, here. At least it ran. Yeah, exactly. It might be a complaint, but I don't feel that the framework should enforce naming convention. I'm sure there's a good. Re what? Maybe a complaint, but I don't feel like the framework should be enforcing naming convention. Oh yeah, uh, about the the capital. Uh, there's probably a really good reason that I'm not aware of, Michael. Okay, so our function is never called. No. Okay, so let's close that because yeah. We did this function, but it's never called. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So let's change that. So in this page here, I think it was done in the unparameter async stuff. So let's do this right now. Just call, let's do it, await. Boom, right? Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. Nope. Whoa, okay, what did I did wrong?
Oh! That's what I did wrong. Boom. Well, feel free to help uh, according to Bo. Uh, to Bo. Um, Shirley Dev, if you think. Uh, because we're going short in time. I just want to see if that thing works. Okay, cool. So at least now we are calling that thing. So let's uh, let's jump over. So it's empty. That's not good. So the four each will be pretty quick. Can we trace more? The function is running in Azure. Um, can we? That's our data. If we go into the function and we check the click stat. Can I click the monitor and try again, maybe? Four minutes. Delayed up to five minutes. Oops. While it's loading, I will have a look. Uh, issue. Feature requests. Landing page. Add an ability to have a shortener URL land on a page which show you what shortener what shortener URL resolve to with a button to continue. no clue how to do that but uh, I will like it we need like that could be um, uh, do I have a duplicate or related It is a good feature request. I just have no clue how to do this. I just have no clue how to implement that. So here, oh yeah, so I need to run again. So let's remove the breakpoint. Uh, okay, so now let's try again our function. Let's reload the page. And now we just crash because Click statistic is null. Cool. Yeah, 
So it is working, it is returning something, but apparently we cannot. Of course you can. Um, you don't even need to do it. Uh, you could run everything locally, sure you dev. Oh, you mean the... Um, that feature? Well, I think, yeah, I think you could do it because you could run the function locally. So you don't even need to deploy in Azure. But yeah, of course. Take it. You want me to assign it to you? <laughs> Not yet. No problem. Uh, okay, so let's stop this. Uh, let's add a note. Um, let's do this. So now let's have a look to the scores of today. Who's our big winner? I think it's a one of your butt, right, Cherry Dev? Sure, like Shirley Dev is the the. Yep, I'm going to stream on Friday, uh, Michael. But don't leave yet. We'll we'll raid someone. If everybody's leaving now, I will be alone. That's that's very sad. <laughs> don't don't leave me yet. Um. Uh, did I hit? I don't think I had a lot of. <laughs> I don't think I had any new followers or anything today. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> it was a very sad uh, thing. So let's go in half and half. Uh, stop the... Okay, credit runs and I cannot stop them apparently. Um, who can I raid? Uh, let's search together. Let's go see uh, first, like to check in the life coders. I should mute that before it pops. Um, Josh Koopa, what are you doing? We gaming though? Develop things, killing kittens, admin panel. Oh, that could be interesting. JavaScript. Where are the life coders? Come on, finish the pot, the pibs. I develop things. Patch. Thirty-second break. That look in the nut. That's not in English, though. Everybody must be busy. I develop things. Did I? Uh... Okay, he's coding. Let's let's do that. Uh, let's go raid him. And cool. Excellent. So, oh, sorry. Too late. Um, thank you all for being with me today. It was very appreciated. Uh, I think we we make some progress. Uh, we like we, I need to push that thing. I need to start doing something else. And uh, like I think this tool is very useful. Thank you for the new PR. Uh, that's pretty cool. Hey, Robert Table just joined. Hey, <laughs> welcome aboard. Um, so uh, yeah. Uh, we'll have some fun. I think with that teeny blazer admin webpage, I, I also want to have a good post to uh, to show how to migrate. There's like 200 people who are apparently are like not using that, but liked it and uh, 90 something for, uh, forks. So pretty cool. It's so that first uh, real kind of success for a GitHub project for me. Anyway, so we'll see you Friday.
Bye-bye. Thank you again, everybody.